dedication for the, for the last five decades of his life. And who is now the chairperson of the Karnataka Legislative Council, Sri Basaraj Haratiji, Registrar of Evaluation, who was our deputy registrar before. We are very, very lucky that he has come back to Rajiv Gandhi University as the Registrar Evaluation a doctor, an administrator, and a researcher. We are very happy to have you, Dr. Riaz Bashan. Dr. Suresh Reddy, Dr. Sai Kumar, Dr. Venkatagiri, Dr. Shosharan, Dr. Sharan Shetty, Dr. Aishwarya. Dr. Iftikar, members of the faculty, dear students, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. I consider it indeed a privilege and a honor to be here this evening and associate myself with this valedictory function of the Mangalore Physiocon 2023. I said it is a privilege because I have been a surgeon, I have been an administrator, I have been a teacher, I have attended multitudes of conferences all around the world and abroad. But I never seen for the valedictory function nearly 4,000 delegates being assembled here. It's a very unique feature because most of our conferences, valedictory function, they leave the, by the early morning flight and they're never seen after that. Congratulations. Congratulations <laughs> to each one of you that shows the interest you have in your own field of physiotherapy. I also like to congratulate Dr. Iftikar, Dr. Reddy in his own inimitable way, described him as a multifaceted person, doing so many things at the same time. But I should tell you, he does whatever he does, he does it to perfection. And give him a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. We are very proud in Mangalore that he has brought this PhysioCon with more than 4,000 delegates, not only from India, from all parts of the world. That is an achievement by itself. Mangalore, Mr. Harati ji, we are extremely proud of Mangalore. I, was, I had my schooling in Mangalore, except the medical school and my post-graduation. Entirely, I spent my life as a practicing surgeon in Mangalore. Mangalore is very peculiar, I must tell you. Many people, there are delegates from all around the country. You should know about Mangalore. That's the only city. There are about 5,800 smaller cities apart from the metropolis, nine metropolis. It's the only city where the population 10 years ago was seven lakhs twenty thousand and even today it is seven lakhs ninety thousand. We are the people, not because of birth control, but on our own we have maintained the standard of population in our country. It's the education hub of our country. The citadel of banking, Bern in its main road has three, only three primary banks. Many of you may not know, five nationalized banks were born in Mangalore, out of it because of all the, this thing, now the only Canada bank is left, but still we started five banks. We have eight medical colleges. Boston, the city of Makkah of Medicine has only three medical colleges. 
we have eight medical colleges which is rather unique for a city of 75000 mangalorians you can make out who are the mangalorians by their elegancy and grace whether it is sports whether it is film industry whether it is any 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 type of human endeavor there is a mangalorean from guru guru that guru guru that days of yesterday's years film stars to the present cities and and aishwarya rai to even padukone yes all have their blood from mangalore this is rather unique for mangalore so it is when i said physiotherapy i was just asking dr reddy how many physiotherapy colleges are in india and in karnataka and in mangalore there are nearly 504 physiotherapy colleges in the country about 98 physiotherapy colleges in karnataka and more than 16 physiotherapy colleges in a small town of Mangalore, which has a population of 9 lakhs. It is not just physiotherapy colleges, they have maintained standard. Dr. Reddy told you that majority of the principals in different colleges spread in the country have passed out from one of the colleges from Mangalore. That shows the Mangaloreans have Delivered a lot in the cause of physiotherapy. Physiotherapy is a fairly new branch of medicine. I'm, a, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. I depend mostly on physiotherapy. I operate every day in the morning. But next day I do not see, till next day I do not see him at all. It is the physiotherapist. It is the team of people. Mainly the physiotherapist who puts back the patient back to his normalcy. I still remember one of the IG of police who was shot in the famous forest of Bangalore. I just asked him, he had come for a consultation, who is the surgeon who treated you in Bangalore? He did not remember the surgeon's name, but he remembered Asha, the nurse who looked after him, and Anthony who looked after his physiotherapy. He said, these are the people who made me stand and walk today, Doc. And that shows the importance of physiotherapy as a science today. Gentlemen and ladies, the last 20 years and the next 20 years will be the most fascinating periods in the history of mankind. Whatever science it is, physiotherapy or medicine or orthopedics or whatever science it is, it will be the most fascinating because with the robotics, with the artificial intelligence, the whole arena of science will change. And my plea to you, younger generation, is switch on to the new, new methods. An armchair surgeon or an armchair physiotherapist has no role to play in the present arena of development unless he marches forwards with the latest developments. With this little thought of mine, I will just end my speech with it. Unless you have faith in, Mr. Harati has a lot of faith in his political career and he has become that big. Any one of them had faith in their own way of life, they have come to this level. Unless you have faith, intricate faith in the subject you practice, you can't proceed forwards. I will tell you a small story. We, you know, for the last two months there was no rain at all. Luckily, you people came to Mangalore and we had rains for the last two days. Thank you very much. There were no rains at all in the village. And all the villagers grouped together and said, we will have a puja in the main temple. All the villagers should come and perform the puja. All the villagers came together. There was a small little boy 
who cried with his mother and said, I want an umbrella. I want an umbrella. Mother said, are you a fool? You take an umbrella when there is no rain? No, I want an umbrella, he said. He walked on the road, his, his companions were making fun of him. What's the matter with you? You are taking an umbrella when there is no rain in the night. He just laughed and went to the temple. The puja took place and after one hour, there was a heavy rain. There was a heavy rain and he was the only one who had an umbrella because he had a faith that God will, God will, God will promise his prayers. That is the faith you will have to have in your everyday life. With this little thought of mine, let us march forwards very firm in our faith, sustained in our confidence in the will of God and promise of men and women like you to lead India has opened. You are lucky. My generation, whatever I have done or what Mr. Harati's generation has done is a different story. What you can do to this country is vital. Let us all do whatever we can to the progress of our great nation. Thank you very much indeed.